you're watching the beat, we're coming from the Fla and the Dream are one of the many guests who are going to be spanking the boards throughout um, tonight's program. Peter from the band has joined us for a bit of a natter underneath my tree here yes. in the Liggers enclosure. I'm trying to carve our names on here, honey. <laughs> How you doing, Gary? How's it going? I'm doing very, very good, well. Good. What about you? What's kind of sort of going through your mind before you get up there on stage? Um, am I going to slip? Am I going to fall? And I mean that metaphorically as well. I don't know, because like for us, the Dream dance. And then coming and doing the flower, the only association being the fact I'm from like the area, I'm Irish, so I suppose it gives us one, you know, one reason. But um, I was going to say initially, Peter. I mean, I guess you guys probably seem like an odd choice considering the rest of the bill. Yeah. What made you want to do it? Well, I think because I'm trying to like make our music like go live as well, and you know, give it some sort of like foundations. You know what I mean? I played live bands all my life, so I wanted to get up there and do it live again. So it's as unplugged as possible. I mean, we're running some sequences, but it's a means to an end to get the dance music sound in as live as possible. And you know, if we if we if we bugger up, then we're lost as well as the rest of them. You know? What sort of reaction are you expecting? Well, it's midday, so everyone's not pissed enough yet to really be getting up off, off their knees and dancing. But we'll see if we can get people at least swaying in their pants as they sit. So swinging their pants. Swinging their pants, as my old friends Trevor and Simon say. Now, what do you think sort of makes the flower so different, so unique? Because there isn't really anything like it anywhere else, really, it's is there? Irish fest, really, I suppose. Well, I mean, the Irish are the the world's leading edge uh, in, in technology of drinking and uh, partying up. And so they're expressing themselves here in no uncertain terms. Everyone's here to make a good account of themselves and the drinking's begun already. And you know, we'll just see how it goes from there. I mean, would you sort of say that it's sort of fair to say that, you know, Irish music plays, you know, a larger part in their lives and say sort of like other people yeah. or? Yeah, definitely, I mean, you know, the Irish culture, they're quite strong on that. It's very rock-based culture and stuff like that. So I'll be interested as much as anyone else to see how they take us. It might go one or two ways. So, is your game of two halves, Harry? Yeah. How I mean, <laughs> I mean, is there anyone in particular that you're looking forward to seeing here today? Um, well, if I was sticking around, we're actually going off to Paris straight away, but it would have been the Cranberries. Oh, get the last bus, so I'm going off to Paris. Hey, you know, hey, you know, as you do. Uh, no, it's like um, we're doing a, a thing there tonight with people like Capella and stuff, the 12,000 people dance thing in Paris, so we'll see how that goes. But I don't know, I, I would love to stick around and be part of it, because I've come to here a few times, like the last time I was here. We love Van Morrison and all playing Christy Moore, which is always brilliant to see. Well, that's it. Time for us to leave the Shamrock and the Shillelaghs, the Guinness and the Gaelic. That's it as far as this year's flower is concerned. If you enjoyed it half as much as I did, that means I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. Now, before I do hot foot it out of here, let me tell you about next week's programme.